Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So we ended the previous episode in Bieberburg and uh, I said at the end of the episode that I would abandon my plan to go further north to Helleborg and Torvaborg but then off camera I changed my mind again because we really need to buy the damn two-handed hammer. Uh, Helleborg is a little too far but Torvaborg, uh, Torvaborg, this is like half day march plus i was hoping that we would, would find something along the way we know that there are i think actually two uh, like spawn places for camps one here we got lucky and then i think there is another one here and we got pretty lucky with this one uh raiders with the leader so a chance to get an upgrade um then hopefully they have the hammer in Torvaborg with seven and a, seven and a half thousand. We have enough money to buy one. If we get really good prices, I'd maybe even buy two. Uh, though I'm not sure that it's even possible to have two hammers in a shop. Uh, it's probably possible, but I would say it's quite unlikely. Uh, but we will see what we what we find. Uh, we are really just going there to, to get the hammer. It's going to significantly improve our damage output. Uh, before I started recording, I made some changes. Uh, the most important one, Leberecht, I gave him significantly worse gear and I'll try to just get rid of him in this fight. Uh, other than that, uh, I just shuffled some gear around basically. Nothing else that we would have mentioned really. But we have four level ups, so let's start with that and then we attack those brigands. Okay, this one should be the easiest. Here I will go with uh, Berserk. I think we can take Nimble later because Friedrich uh, has 70 hit points, which is pretty damn good for an archer. Uh, well, now when I'm looking on the build, we actually don't have a single defensive card. I didn't even take dodge yet, so maybe I should have taken Nimble, actually. I thought that we had to dodge already. But, well, too late to change it. I took Berserk, and we should be fine. I mean, our archers are not really getting hit that often. Uh, so, plus four, excellent. Maybe I'll... S we definitely want the, I want the initiative, of course. But the last one, that's interesting. Uh, none of these is a max roll. Huh. We definitely don't need hit points. I wouldn't mind getting closer to 40 with resolve, but I will only take resolve when it's plus 4. So the decision here, do we stick the stamina or do we go plus 3 range defense? Um... But this is not a build about range defense. Here we will be getting our defenses from dodge, so that's from initiative. Um, if we were, uh, if we were going anticipation, then of course we would um, be stacking up defense. So I think we'll just stick to the uh, to the usual combination. If we get like plus two fatigue, plus four range defense, I would take the defense. But when it's plus three, plus three, I think fatigue is more valuable. Okay, that's that. Then this one was the most difficult to decide because we basically have everything that we want for this build. We don't want weapon mastery with 51 melee skill. We really don't get much from pole arm, pole arm mastery. Like Grimald is here to uh keep spamming a rally we don't expect him to hit anything so the pole master is irrelevant um with that like half of these perks are useless because they are about improving your offensive capabilities then we have perks that improve your defensive capabilities but we don't really have anything that would help us significantly. Maybe I'll go dodge just to get a little bit out of it. It's not great, but it gives us something. Uh, if I want to in increase the defense, but we don't even need that. So I was looking at utility. That's the only thing that's left. And what utility can we give to someone who is there to just spam a rally? Uh, well, we could do bags and belts with quick hands 
I still don't know what uh, utility items I would use, but we can open the option. We don't need recover with uh, with the nimble build that is stacking up fatigue. We have more than enough stamina to keep spamming really forever. Um, we don't need adrenaline because we mostly want to use rally before the people who panicked start running away and the people who panic always act last so there is no point in going first like you want builds that do a lot of damage to go first uh nine lives don't really care about that all of this is offense so I honestly don't know. Maybe what I'm going to do... Um, well, we could do rotation. to Not to reposition Grimwald, but uh, to have Grimwald move other people around, basically. Without them uh, having to spend their stamina. That would be one option. Uh, so, maybe I will take dodge, and then we can maybe discuss in comments a little bit what we would use as utility items if I took bags, bags and belts with quick hands. What would that be used for? If we find something, something good then we go with that if we don't find anything then we will just go with rotation and something but no matter what we do i think we will be taking dodge okay i, I repeat this is we don't get that much from dodge but it's a it's a little bit and we don't really need anything else now resolve that's easy Do we want more hit points? I mean, we have uh, Colossus, so we probably want to get the maximum out of it. Do we want plus three stamina? It's more useful than the initiative, even with dodge. The plus four doesn't really change much. Or we could go the range defense. Maybe range defense is actually better here than plus three stamina. Just keep working on the defensive stats. Okay, so that's that. Uh, then, Gerhard. This one is quite easy. That's Killing Frenzy and uh, Pathfinder. With plus 3, plus 4, plus 4. Yeah. I think I'll be looking for a replacement for Gerhard eventually. Because 88 uh, rain skill. What the hell is that? I apologize. I don't know where that came from. Uh, but um, 88 range skill. That's not amazing. We can get to 100. So if we get some exceptional hunters, eventually I'll get rid of Gerhard. But for now, he is definitely more than good enough. Uh, and then Kunold, that's another weird build. So what do you want to take here? Actually, for a I was like going through those levels before I started recording, but I forgot. Oh, oh, we definitely want recover here. Yeah, that's what I wanted to take. The last two are going to be interesting, but here we have to take a recover. Uh, one. And this is the build that... Uh, oh, we also want Shield Expert. Uh, I remember what I wanted to do. Okay, definitely hit points. Now, do we want to take plus two stamina or plus three melee defense? Uh, 
That's a tough call. I think for once I'll take the melee defense. Because it's a max a max roll against minimum roll. Good. That took a little bit longer than I wanted. Uh, anything else? Oh, we don't need the sergeant for for this fight. So this is the team that's going in. Cool. Is this in a forest or on a hill? In a forest. Oh, hey. Hmm. So we are not stabbing this guy. Don't really care about the armor that much. It would be really dangerous. I don't want to get hit by that axe. So we'll just take him out with ranged attacks if possible. Okay, you are supposed to be there. You can go there. Good. And I'm gonna hide Labyrinth somewhere, probably. Is there a tile that we could use to hide? I don't really see anything. Hmm. Well, let's move him this way for now. Maybe I'll send him down here and then flank anything that's going to be coming from this side. But until the archers are gone, we have to move back. Yeah, my Nolf now has Labyrinth gear. It's so much better than what he had. What he had. There we go. I hope they can't... S well, the AI knows if you are moving people around the map like this. There is always someone reacting to uh, reacting to, to these attempts to flank, even if the AI doesn't have vision. So there will probably be some raiders going this way, no matter what. Okay, so we are in range with aim shots. That's good enough. From here we don't even need aim shots. Oh, come on. We can do it. 69. Nope. Why am I not surprised? There is the crossbowman. And this guy should die pretty easily. Come on, seven to do. Well, I'll take that. Let's try again. That's better. Uh, what's high priority? The marksman might actually be high priority. I mean marksman, uh, crossbowman. There we go. And now I probably... Oh, I can reach him. Good. <clears throat> yep, if there was the crossbowman hitting, then there was definitely danger of being injured, so I think that was a good decision. Uh, hide, where do we hide? Here. Oh, there is another crossbowman. We didn't know about that one. Good. 
good. Come on. Excellent. Wait. And from the high ground, we just wait. Yeah, hopefully we finish off uh, the marksman with the hunting bow now. And next turn we focus on the leader. Wait. Good. Fortunately, that was a headshot. I wouldn't mind getting the helmet. Oh, that sucks. Wait, wait, let's try again, 71, there we go, it's gonna take a while getting through the armor, but should be fine, should be able to destroy most of it before he gets in melee range. Sixty three missed twice. This guy is also a priority target. I might even send my after him. more damage. Well, we still have one more attack here. There we go, that was a good one. It's gone. All that we care about is really that X, and even that is not super important because I'm not planning on using two handed X for quite a while. In the end, I will probably try to get one X Master, but that might be like the last frontline build that I'll try to get. Can we? We can reach this one. He doesn't have a helmet. I'm trying to go for a headshot. Okay, this one. Ah, we ran out of ammo. That's a wrong moment to run out of ammo. I wanted the overwhelm stacks. Ow. Ow. Decent. Damn it. He has uh, one stack of overwhelmed. Uh, his morale is pretty low. So hopefully, he doesn't hit. Nice. Of course he did hit. Yeah, that was like 130 points of damage to that helmet. 
Uh, I hate hammers. Oh, hey. Forgot about this one. Die. There we go, that's the headshot. How many are alive? Six. You have to make sure that Library dies. It sounds horrible, but I really don't want him to survive the fight. He's not even bleeding anymore. There's a good chance that he actually kills both of them and lives. That was a unique pole arm. Wow. Such a bad damage. Nope. If I keep attacking, he will kill them. Sorry, you just have to die. Did the other one panic as well? Ooh. Problem is, if I let him go, I'll have to pay like 700 gold. That's a lot of money. Should be able to get him. Wait. There. So, uh, we have more than enough room in the inventory, so. We are taking everything. It's probably worth it repairing these two. I could give the axe to uh, Hamdin until he gets a hammer. Now the question is, is it better to give him this axe or this axe? This would give him significantly more utility. And uh, there is not a huge difference in the damage output. I mean, this one is uh, much more effective against armor. But I kind of like the reach. 60 to 80, 70 to 95, yeah, that's a noticeable difference. Okay, I'll get that for now. And we'll fix these three. There are some undead here, what is this? Just curious. There is a chance now to uh, find like fallen heroes in these random groups. Uh, 
They had to come from somewhere. Probably too far. There has to be a, a ruin here. Or here, maybe. But I'm not going that far. Okay, fingers crossed. Where is the uh, the weaponsmith? They are not. Uh, they don't have ambush trade droughts, they don't have marauding greenskins, so there is a good chance that we finally get what we are looking for. There it is. Pretty expensive. Uh, we can probably sell everything here. The prices are not great, but they are good enough. Oh, and I wanted to check if we needed the helmet or not. Yeah, we do. Actually, no, not for Roger. For Frederick. Okay, this is level six. So our hammer masters are these two, right? This is mace, dagger, hammers. So it's gonna be Gustav getting the hammer. He has what twenty melee defense, thirty melee defense. Hmm. Which means. Minol should be able to survive with lighter armor. Uh, this is actually 170. So let's do it this way. Plus, with the shield, we don't need 250 point helmet for now. Okay. Until we get to uh, level at least like 9. I'll keep uh, Gustav in the center, but in the end, uh, both Hamdin and Gustav will be on the flanks most of the time, so that they can effectively use the Shatter. Okay, do we want to keep the shield or the sword? Probably, because we will need some defense for new recruits, if we get them. Now, what else? We have seven and a half thousand, so we might even be able to check one or two recruits. Nope. Uh, how much do they want for training? 340, that's probably worth paying. You have more than enough food for... Oh, and they have a falcon for 1000 gold! Ooh. Okay, let's check the uh, recruits first. So 754 billhook is not the worst price. What's the difference between billhook and pike? Five? Actually, not that much. Uh, we can probably stick to the pike. Oh, we definitely want to see Erwin. Okay, 
That's not good enough. Even if this wasn't resolve, uh, but it was like stamina, I still don't think I'd take him. Do I want wild? I actually don't remember, and I don't have my list of backgrounds around here, damn it. But I don't think I wanted wild man. And also, it's way too expensive. Okay, so we are done with recruits. We need this thing, it's just so important against necromancers and you don't have to move forward to find out what you are up against we probably want to give this to someone who has extremely high initiative uh it won't be actually Ferdinand probably has the highest initiative for now yeah so let's give it to him but in the end we will give it to one of our archers because <clears throat> we always need uh to um, send the falcon up as the first thing at the start of combat so we know how to position before anyone starts moving cool so this was definitely worth it uh, do you want to buy anything else we could maybe buy one stack of meat oh we already have mm, damn it yes I should have bought the beer but that's pretty damn expensive. Okay, well, we are done here. Now, where do we go next? That's an interesting question. We want to go to probably Willow's Fields and check this area. And we want to go through Farnheim and Auenbach. So let's, let's go to Farnheim and we'll leave the pathing on the AI. I was hoping to find something here. Okay, no uh, contracts unfortunately. Hmm, this looks like quite a large group of hopefully brigands. It might be worth checking, but it's also possible that these are just guards chasing someone. And also, they'll probably be quite far. Ah, it's worth checking. There is a, if these are brigands, then there is a good chance they have a leader with them. Oh no, these are not. These are not brigands. Yeah, we can now. We can see. No, no. I thought that uh, these were tracks of small group of brigands who were being chased by guards. No, it's it's not correct. What the hell happened here? Oh well, because they are following roads, those were guards. Lindworms again? What the hell? Did they make this contract more common?
what is this? Shooting contest? Sure, go for it. I mean, I will take resolve for my archers, no problem. They have pretty low resolve, so every point helps. This is what we are interested in. We still need to kill some more beasts. This might be Alps though, and they would disappear in the morning. Uh, who are you? Brigands. Okay, be the leader, so that's way more important. Where are you going? Wait. Oh, I didn't switch uh, Roger. Damn it. Of course, it had to happen. Uh, 200 sword. I don't think we care about 200 sword. It's more interesting than the 200 axe. Once again, he doesn't have an armor that we really care about, so we can just shoot him I'm tempted to just hide. Don't want to get hit again by the crossbow. I'm gonna risk it. Let's stay. That's bad. That is really bad. You know how I'm complaining from time to time that not all weapons penetrate armor properly? This time it saved Gustav's ass. That's probably the first time it actually helped me. Panic. Good. Now we can retreat. Uh, we are not bleeding, right? So let's get the fuck out of there. That was way too close for comfort. Holy crap. <laughs> I was hoping that maybe the archers panic as well. That way we'd be able 
to catch them. Whoa, I thought they would just run, but there are still six of them. Um, so this was a mistake. And yeah, now they'll start running. We did get the sword. Do we want a sword master? I don't think so. The hammers and maces are just too good. If we, it probably depends on if we find a, a unique version of a great sword. If we find a good unique great sword, then sure, let's go for a sword master. But without that. I think I'll pass. I should probably check if anybody needs a dagger. Uh, first of all, you need a break. Now, uh, speaking about daggers, you could use a dagger. Then we can fix one, two, three. Maybe even the arming sword might be worth repairing. I'm actually thinking about going for the X Master after all. And use this axe. It of course need a unique version. Uh, the hammer masters are just too important. Excellent. Plus three melee defense again. Plus four stamina. Uh, what did we get? Here, plus three hit points. Okay, so definitely these stats. Good. Uh, where did you come from? But they went this way, north. We could check here, there's something, but I want to find these, whatever this is. Nice areas, yep. Stop running, there we go. We are probably done. We could try a lucky shot here. Oh, that was too lucky. Crap. Not what I wanted.
I should have moved forward. I don't think this is the fight where I want to sacrifice anyone. You know what, we'll just do it. And activate speed, level, that's for sure. This one. <laughs> hmm, do we move forward? Well, we'll just stay where we are. I don't want to give more kills to Leopard. I'm trying to sacrifice him. And I think that's it won't be able to catch these two and then there is a big one who panicked as well that's fine oh okay interesting but I'll gladly take one more kill Can't reach him at all. What about aim shot here? 46. I'll risk it, I think. Nope. That's expected. Wait. Wait. I want to give the kill to Hamdin. It's a pretty bad timing to visit Steinberg. We also don't really have money. So I'll just keep exploring. expect 
expected to find new brigand camps everywhere. Oh, two. That's interesting. We should be able to kill two unholds. If we can catch them. I'm not sure that fighting them in the swamp is the best idea. Depends on the terrain. Uh, terrain is fine. We'll just move forward a little bit. Okay, wait. We want to wait for them to come to us, right? Focus on one of them. Do at least some damage. That's okay. That's worse. But we still should have quite a few attacks. Uh, how do we do this? Move forward, attack. Next turn is gonna be a problem. Archers should be able to finish up this one easily. Wait, wait. Now I think we want to wait for him. Come on. There we go. So I'm curious about the potion. Regenerate 10 hit points each turn. This is one of the important ones. I'm not gonna use it immediately. Don't have the right person, but I want to give this to my super tank. If I ever get someone with uh, the right stats, of course. Uh, three star hit points, three star initiative, three star melee defense, nimble, super high hit points, dodge, and we combine the super high hit points and damage reduction with regeneration. Oh, by the way, that should have yeah, this That was the fifth, uh, uh, fifth pack of beasts. So now we'll finally get a new ambition. So this two cast to the wrong side. What the hell is this? 
Uh, you put your head down for a nap. The silk bed sheet slides off your body as you roll to the side. Birds flutter past the sleek ivory framed window. A voice pours into your ear a hint of an aroma you have never smelled before gracing you. Uh, you're awake. A woman rolls herself over, running a finger down your chest before going back up and seizing your chin. Uh, Light pretty, the sun glowing across her smooth face and lighting up a set of emerald eyes. She goes for a kiss. You quickly slide out of the bed and frantically look around. She grabs the sheet and comes to her knees, confused. What's wrong? Where are you going, my emperor? Oh, that's the emperor stuff. Oh, does this mean undead invasion? I think that's what it means. There's the ambition, good. What was the next one gonna be? Come on, there has to be something around here. Or not. Well, that's disappointing. Because I, I expected to find at least like three new locations in the area. That's bad. We have not even 3000 gold. Oh, we are definitely interested in this one. That's a lot of, should be a lot of uh, brigands. And we could maybe even do the patrol, although I'm not sure where we're gonna get 25 heads. They're paying quite well though. Unfortunately, we can't afford it to check even these two, so I'll just check the marketplace, uh, how much are you guys paying, horrible, well, I think we're gonna make a cut here, I wanted the new ambition, but I guess that can wait, next time, how is Gustav doing, Gustav managed to recover quite well, very quickly, So we can use him again. And yeah, we need the money. This is 2000. So you'll definitely do that. This one is how much? Also like 2000 almost. So you're gonna do both. Uh, where are we supposed to go? Aunbach, Eschbach? And something. Felsburg, I think. Felsburg, Aunbach. So just go this way, north, Auenbach, and once again through the forest back for the reward. Okay, sounds like a plan, uh, but we are done with this episode, so I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.